As you guys know, I'm a big fan of making money in the hideout, but what if I told you there's a way you can make an extra 200k or more every time the traders reset by taking advantage of some of their barters? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys eight money making barters that can make you millions in Escape from Tarkov. Before we jump into the video, I just want to give a quick reminder that I'm live over on Twitch pretty much every day between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have any questions related to my videos or just the game in general, feel free to stop by and hang out for a bit. We've also launched a community discord, so if that interests you, that'll be linked below as well. All right, so jumping straight into this, we're going to be covering barters at all different trader levels. So if you don't have max traders, don't worry, there's something in here for you. So starting off with Ragman loyalty level one, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Paka barter. It requires three half masks and you can do up to three of these. So what I do is I usually jump over to fence and he'll typically have these half masks for about 3,400 rubles. Since you need three per trade, you can go ahead and grab nine or you can grab a shit ton of them like I normally do. That way you can and just kind of do this barter whenever so in total for each pack of body armor that we're gonna buy the half masks are 3400 rubles and that puts us at 10,200 rubles total invested we'll go ahead and grab those and they sell for 16,283 a piece so your profit is around 6,000 rubles now I know what you guys are thinking why on earth would you waste your time on this for just 6,000 rubles and just hold on Give me time, wait until all these are over with, and I'll show you guys that this is going to be something that you want to do with all of the barters that I show you. That way you can make a bunch of money at once, and this only takes a couple minutes. You can do it while you're waiting for your buddies to gear up. You can do it in your spare time. If you work from home and you want to make a little bit of extra money, you can do that. So just hold on, wait until the end of the video, and I'll show you guys how much money you can make. I forgot to mention earlier, but our ruble count started at 22 million, so we're going to be getting all of these barters, and then we'll sell them at the end and see exactly how how much money we make all right so moving on from the paco we're going to be going into ragman loyalty level two and the next thing we're going to be talking about is this un helmet now this one requires two of these goggles and keep in mind that there are two different variations of these goggles the ones that you want are going to be the ones with the orangish yellow lenses but again, I usually go over to fence and most of the time he has them for sale right here. He's got 121 of them. They sell for a little over 2,800 rubles a piece. You need two of them per helmet. That means you'll have 5,600 invested. We'll go ahead and grab them right now. I've already got some goggles and they sell for 17,566 rubles per helmet. And that puts us at a profit of just under 12,000 rubles per helmet. So as you guys can see, we're already starting to stack up a little bit here, but just wait it gets better now the last one is going to be on ragman loyalty level four this one is actually kind of broken and it's going to be this alton face shield for four plexiglass now the reason why this is broken is because you can do it an unlimited amount of times if we go over to the plexiglass on the flea market as you can see right here we've got a bunch of them selling for around seven thousand if we buy all of those, we only got three, so we'll get one more. So we'll just say we paid 7,500 a piece for those, and these prices are always gonna vary, and I'm sure after this video, plexiglass is gonna go way up. But let's just say for this example, we spent 7,500 per. We'll go ahead and multiply that by four. That puts us at 30,000 rubles. We buy one of these, and we can sell it for 41,765. Now, if you wanna stay profitable, you need to be buying the plexiglass under 10,400 rubles. The closer you get to 10,400, obviously the less money you're going to make. But if you just go over to these plexiglasses and just buy as many as you can, I would say keep it under 10,000. And we just go ahead and buy up a bunch of these, all the ones under 10,000. Get as many of these as we can. We'll go ahead and get one more. We only grab four, but you guys can do this as many times as you want. For some reason, this doesn't have a limit like the dog tag barter does. I'm not really sure why. I think it's not supposed to be that way. But for the time being, we can kind of abuse it to make some extra money. Moving on from Ragman, we're going to jump over to Jaeger. And this one is going to be at loyalty level one. This is going to be the only one that we talk about on Jaeger. And you can do this from day one of wipe if you find these items in raid. Or you can buy the items that you need on the flea market. And we're going to be talking about the dog tag case. So as most of you know, you can get a dog tag case from Therapist for 344k. If you're trying to get one to use it for yourself, I would highly recommend this barter. You're going to save a ton of money. But if you already have dog tag cases and 
and you just want to make some extra money this is a really good one so you're going to want to buy the military flash drive i would say preferably under like 130k and then you're also going to want to buy the vhs preferably under 40k so we paid 128 for the military flash drive and 40 for the vhs that puts us at 168,000 rubles and this thing sells to therapists for 195 that puts us at a 27,000 ruble profit just on this one item obviously if you get the mfds and the vhs is for much cheaper your profit goes up and keep in mind all of this stuff that i'm showing you you can do on every single trader reset so you can do this an infinite amount of times you hop on for the day grab all these barters sell them off make your money and then you come back in a few hours and do it all over again but moving on from jaeger we're going to jump into mechanic now these are some of my favorites first one we're going to be talking about is mechanic level two he's got this glock 17 barter it requires two of the big wd-40s go ahead and jump over to the flea market you can usually pick these up around 10 to 12k I'm going to go ahead and buy two. So that right there costs us 24,200 rubles to grab one. Go ahead and purchase that there. And as you can see, we can sell it to Mechanic for 34,546 rubles. Now you can get two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So depending on how much you spend on these WD-40s or if you find them in raid, here's a couple for 9,000. Go ahead and pick those up for the future. 8,500. You can get them really cheap and make a little bit of money there. But let's say we paid 12K for each of ours. That puts us at 24. We sell it for 34,546. We're looking at a little over 10,000 rubles per gun. Moving on from mechanic level two, we'll jump into mechanic level three. Now this one's pretty good because you can get four of them and we're gonna be talking about the AK-74M Zenit Co. It requires four of the Marlboro cigarettes and one military cable. The good thing is these Marlboros are very, very cheap. So we'll go ahead and buy four. And then you're gonna need a military cable and that's going to cost you a little bit under 30k so let's say we spent 28 on that let's say we spent 3k per marlboro so that puts us at 12k 28 plus 12 that is going to be 40,000 rubles and if we go ahead and grab this here you can see that it sells to mechanic for 50,398 so we're looking at about a 10k profit per gun and you can grab four of these, so that's 40K. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other three real quick. All right, so we got our AKs moving on from mechanic level three. We're gonna jump over to level four. This is a pretty good one, but the prices do vary. It's gonna require two Nixers and one landmark rat poison for this SA-58. Now, if you like using the hybrid suppressor, this will be a good barter for you to get that and then maybe sell the SA-58 and you're in the suppressor for really cheap. If we go over here to the Nixers, we can buy two of them for around 30K and then you're gonna need a rat poison poison as well that sits around 32k go ahead and buy it and it sells to mechanic for 106,829 rubles so this one's not bad when nixers are cheap it's a lot more profitable but obviously the prices vary so i can't give you guys an exact amount of profit for this one specifically all right and finally the last barter i have to show you guys is going to be at proper level four and that is going to be for the ash 12 suppressed this one's really cheap to get it only costs one mcb and one bundle of wires usually the mcb is under 30k we just got one for 27 and then wires are very cheap right now i would not recommend doing this early in the wipe when wires are expensive so we just picked up those items for around 40k we'll go ahead and grab this ash 12 and as you can see it sells to mechanic for 79,152 rubles so that is going to be all eight of the barters that i have to show you guys real quick i'm going to go ahead and grab a few more of these alton face shields if the prices are pretty cheap just to show you guys that you can just get as many as you want we'll go ahead and grab one more or why not all right and now we're gonna sell all of this to see how much money we make remember we started at exactly 22 million rubles so i'm gonna sell it all and we'll see how much is over 22 million All right, so just sold everything and we made 213,194 rubles in total for doing all of those barters. Go ahead and add another 24K to that because I did buy these two large WD-40s, but we'll use those in the future to make a little bit more money. So there it is. Those are my eight barters that you can be using right now to make a little bit of extra money. I'd say every couple of hours you can do this with the traders, every reset, and you can add an extra 200K just like that. Super easy. It only takes about five minutes 
depending on how quickly you can get items on the fleet and if it's a busy time of day but if you can get these barter items for very cheap and save them until the trader resets you're going to be making a lot more money so i would say you can make anywhere between 200 and 300k per trader reset now i can already see the comments there's going to be people saying bro just scab run streets just run streets you can make money on streets i get it guys the point i'm trying to make here is there are other ways that you can make money this is specifically aimed towards people who might be newer to the game and they need to pick me up every now and again without getting smoked in raid back to back to back so if you're sitting on 100 million rubles this probably doesn't apply to you if you're sitting on like 300k this might be something that you can use to get over that hump that you might have been struggling with. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it. I've been doing this for a long time and I've made a ton of money just adding this to my list of things that I do. If you guys have any more barters that you know of, please be sure to leave them down in the comments below. I've made this video in the past, but some things have changed and I added some stuff to it. So in the future, if we come up with any more barters, we can add them to another video. Again, quick reminder, if you guys haven't already, there's there's a link down below to our discord we're building a pretty awesome community over there we got some cool stuff that you guys can do if you want to share your loot after a raid show it off show people how much money you made you can do that if you want to post a screenshot of somebody you think might be cheating you can do that also and overall it's just a great place to hang out and maybe meet some new people that you can play raids with so hopefully we'll see you guys over there but other than that i'll see you guys in the next video